Hey everybody, welcome back. We got another episode. We got Amy B back in the house. We had so much fun with her last time. We just could not not have her back on. And we, she and I were talking off air here a few seconds ago. And you know, this episode is going to be so jam packed full of amazing content for using video. I know a lot of you are scared of your own shadow and you think you have a face for radio, but I'll tell you right now, Amy's going to take away all the fear. She has a free gift that she's going to give away. And then she has a bonus gift she's going to give to a couple of free people. So so, you know what? This is going to be an exciting show. I am sitting here. I, I, she had uh, the list that she's going to be giving away. I literally told her, I'm like, Amy, I want the I want the sheet. But I'll let her explain it to you. But before I keep talking and just kind of taking away the show, Amy, welcome to the show. I'm so excited to have you back. You know, tell everyone who you are if they missed the first episode. Yeah, um, I'm Amy Broghammer. I'm a realtor in Cincinnati, Ohio, in northern Kentucky. I've been selling real estate for 12 years now. Uh, last time I was on the show, I was talking a little bit about uh, my listing focus and the course that I packaged up called Sell 100% of Your Listings. And that created a whole other ball of wax with all the other options that uh, stemmed off of that and in the video stuff. So I'm back and ready to help everybody embrace video. Yes, embrace video, you fools. You need to embrace this thing, guys. What, what, I mean, what was the uh, the prediction? They said that like by 2020, 85 like percent of the internet traffic, or at least Facebook traffic, is going to be live video, or some version of that. Is, am I am I kind of in this in the right ballpark there on uh, what what it, uh, what it is? Yeah, I mean, YouTube uh, is only second to Google as the largest search engine with video. And um, I think I just saw a stat recently from like LinkedIn or something that said 79% of people prefer to watch a video versus mm -hmm. read a page of text. So um, it's completely changing. You know, we've all seen it in our Facebook feeds, video, and the impact that it's making. And, and it's, uh, it's here to stay. So jump on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jump in or, or you will be lost and do not sit there like, oh, well, I'll do or I'll do a video down the road. No, get off your ass and start doing video. Amy and I were laughing uh, before as well. Like, we, I'm like, well, because I was test, I was making sure I didn't screw up the title. I'm like, because I'm dyslexic and ADHD. She's like, me too. I'm like, do you think that's right why we both love video? We don't have to write? She's like, yep. <laughs> so if you guys are dyslexic <laughs> and ADHD, you know, get on, you know, you guys are going to love this episode. We are going to give you the cure all to communicate with everybody out there in the big wide world uh, without having having to use your little fat nuggets and type things and type in inappropriately. So Amy, I'm going to let you start it off with us. What, you know, start us off and just talking about what your prediction with the video is, what you've seen, you know, the growth pattern and where do you think it's going to be going? I started using video a little over three years ago in my business, um, basically just because I was doing that auto valuation thing and I wanted a way to more automatically follow up with people. You know, hey, did you get your auto value? Did it look right to you? You know, let's talk about that. And just kind of automating things because I liked the idea of a drip, but I liked the video with it. Mm -hmm. So I started using it and then I realized all the other applications that I could use it for in my business. Um, and I'm a small team. We have three people on my team. I'm the listing specialist. I've got a buyer's agent and a director of operations. So we're a small team for a real estate company. And I try to maximize, you know, my time and my money and my <laughs> investments pretty much. So I found that this was a really great automated way to communicate with clients and to kind of set up programs to make things move a little smoother so that I could either go and make more money or go and take a nap, whatever I chose. <laughs> I, I volunteer for the mat, nap today. I have no problem with that. Um, but I mean, I, I was always joking around, Amy, with with people that get, when, I, when, when Facebook Live came out, I was just like, I feel bad. I feel so bad for all my Facebook friends because I am going to bombard them with videos. And I got to admit, I mean, maybe it was the same for you, but when I first got onto video, I was a little nervous. I was like, oh, God, I like trying to play double dutch. Am I in? Am I, am I out? In, out, in, out. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'm in. And I just went all, went all in and I just have never looked back. It is the easiest way to communicate. I mean, flat out, you can do a 15 second video on, on Facebook Messenger and communicate as much as you'd ever want to do it in typing. I mean, it's, it's, it's epic. But 
what did you, what was the first place you, you put video into your, into your business? Was it on um, bomb bomb? Was it on another service? Tell me a little bit about how you, you how, how did, how are you building you know, in trust in seven seconds? That's an amazing feat right there. Well, you just asked like three questions. I know I'm um, excited. all at once. <laughs> uh, so, you know, what I found, and I may have mentioned this the last time I was on, but I created basically when I get a listing lead, I created a five email process to introduce myself to the lead and to share with them a little bit about what they can be expecting about our team. Mm -hmm. Well, what I found when I sent this out is, you know, I would send it out immediately and when I got the lead and then a few days later, I would show up to do what I call a site visit. By the time I would show up to do the site visit or the listing presentation, as it were, I would get a hug at the front door from somebody I'd never met before. Ooh. And I would gladly embrace them back and <laughs> thought in my head, how easy is this going to be? They're going to do everything I say. They are giving me a hug and haven't even met me before. And most of the time they'll say, we feel like we know you because we've watched your videos and we've been like, you know, listening to everything you say and, you know, I mean, if, if I'm in a competitive situation and I'm walking up to somebody's front door and I'm getting a hug, do you think I'm getting the listing or not getting the list? Like pretty much I just have to screw up and <laughs> not get the listing. As long as I don't screw up, it's happening. So um, you were asking, like, how do you build trust in seven seconds? Mm -hmm. um, Amy Cuddy is this amazing Harvard yes. psychologist and she does research and, you know, she has that book Presence. Mm -hmm. um, lots of really great TED Talks, and she does research on first impressions. And one of her, uh, the best articles I love is in Wired Magazine, and her article talks about um, the two things that people size up when they meet you for the first time. And they decide if you're trustworthy or warm, and then they decide if you're competent or if you know what you're talking about. And you really have to start with the trustworthiness and warmth because, um, you know, as um, Zig Ziglar says, if people like you, they'll listen to you. If they trust you, they'll do business with you. Hmm. So you have to create that trust. And so in seven seconds, people can say, okay, I can trust this person. They know what they're talking about. And also they're smart, successful there's a couple other things that people can attribute to um, that first few seconds. Um, and then they decide if they like you and they want to do business with you. So, you know, when we get a lead in real estate, what's the first thing we try to do? Meet try to contact them, right? Yeah, get, a, get, a, get on the phone, get over there and see them and everything else. Yeah. So the first person to the door can get the business. Um, and the reason why you want to get to the door is to put a name with a face and start to establish that trust and that connection. So if you can do that with video, you know, you've got a leg up on everybody. You've got a head start. You're setting yourself apart right away. I, I completely agree with you. I'm a huge fan. What I talk to a lot of people about doing is if you can, uh, you know, obviously send them a video, you know, record something on a lot, like the Logitech I'm using here, that's a 1080p, love this thing, it's like a hundred bucks. Um, and then send them, a, a, you know, download it and upload it into your email and send it over to them if you don't have any money for like with bomb bomb or something like that. They get to hear your tonality. And the other thing about, you know, about video that I think is so important, as you well know, and I'm just gonna, I'm preaching at the choir here with you, in communication, only 7% of the time is the actual words coming out of your mouth. 38% of the time is going to be your tonality as you speak. 55% is 55% uh, of it is your body language. So if you're missing almost half of your verbal ability by not being on video or being in front of them, you're doing yourself a disservice. And they're going to warm up to you right away and be like, oh, my gosh, I, lo I love this woman, Amy. She's amazing. She brought so much value to my life. You know, I, I love her style. She's amazing. You know, she's so cool. She's just like me. Boom, you're in. Yep. I, I do it so I don't scare the shit out of people being six foot five. I'm like, I'm the big dude, so don't run away if I come to the front door. I actually said that to a couple of ladies and they laughed, but I, I'm like, no, seriously, don't run. And yet, no, I, I really want to list your house, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you use Bomb Bomb by chance? I do use Bomb Bomb. Um, I, I use it with um, my automations are set up there and I use it inside my Gmail. It's really, really easy to use and um, I've 
I've had friends who have asked me to help them do their videos in real estate and I've tried to work around it and it's very challenging to <laughs> yeah. do it without that product. So. <laughs> It really is. Okay, we got a couple of great questions here. I know we I know we got a lot to talk about with you, but Ryan is asking, yeah. um, what are you using for video, iPhone or what is your setup? Yeah, so this is a great question. There's uh, three great tools to use to take video. The first one is your phone. Best mm. video out there. HD, easy, everybody's got one. If you're a realtor, you should have a smartphone. If you don't, <laughs> that should be the first thing you do. Logitech 1080p webcam. Um, if you opt in for the bonus items on this um, interview today, you will get registered to win one of two webcams that I'm going to give out mm. for anyone that pays attention. Go to amyb.com forward slash reu, put in your email, and um, you'll get registered to win one of the two Logitech webcams. And Greg, I know we were talking before, you have one, it's got a great mic and it's an HD camera. Connects yeah. right to your computer, it recognizes it right away. You know, great quality. And then any laptop that you buy today has a built-in camera in it. Now it's generally not HD, but those are some really quick, easy ways to take video. Yeah, there really is. I was reading actually funny how this is. I was reading an article from Social Media Examiner on how to, you know, if you're low budget, middle budget or, or big budget on the different types of products you can use. A lot of them are free, but there are there are, I mean the big budget's about a thousand bucks to get completely tricked out with a you know, a nice super, super like professional grade camera. But I mean, like you were saying, I mean everybody, these things are, are absolutely ideal to start doing your videos. Um, another question for you that popped in is, uh, what, do you have an example of your video drip campaigns? This is from Don. I do. I share that um, completely in my course. Uh, alternatively to that, I have a bunch of example videos that I'm streaming on or Facebook living on lead gen scripts and objections. So you can start to see those. And I literally, We'll do a Facebook Live and then I'll show you a video that I play from email on my computer. So you'll be able to see that. Um, but my drip campaigns, I have six or seven drip campaigns and they range from five emails and videos to 19, I think, on our buyer campaign. Really? And I, I mean, so that's, that's some of the stuff that I mean, I, I like the fact that, you're, that you stay up with people so much. A lot of people think that the, if they don't get back to you or you don't get back to them or you miscommunication that the, the buyer or the seller doesn't want to talk to you anymore. But everybody should know that 80 percent of all your deals are between the fifth and the twelfth contact. And the fact that you have 19 videos, all video, 19 emails, all video built into a buyer follow up. I think that's awesome. How did you come up with that number 19? I started making a list one day of all the things that we want to make sure our buyers know before they buy a house. So things like where to get the school information, where to get the crime information, how to learn about lead-based paint, uh, who we recommend for inspections, how to get your insurance, uh, using our app, and the importance of drive-bys. That was the first one I did with Aaron is the importance of drive-bys. Um, just all these things that I said to my buyer's agent what are you telling these people over and over and over and over and over and over again that if we could just say at one time the video and put mm. it on a campaign and hit <laughs> send, literally just put the email in the campaign and hit send, then they start to get these videos every once in a while. And, you know, buyers take longer. So, like you said, just keeping in contact and letting them know you're interested. And then also as the leader of my team, I'm able to get my face in there every couple times and say, you know, hey, I hope everything's going great with Jenny. Let me know if I can be of help to you, you know, and that allows me to get my face in there because they're not seeing me very often, but I'm the leader of the team. So it's a great way to kind of work in that team concept too. No, I completely agree with it. I think the video is definitely going to be, um, it's going to be the future, no matter what, like we talked about, but there are. It already is. Oh, yeah, I couldn't. I Yeah, I mean, I, if I could live on camera, I would. I'm, I, I think I have business envy of Grant Cardone because that man is on camera all day, every day. <laughs> yeah. But with video, there are specific things 
that you need to keep in mind. So we were talking about a couple of the different things that are really important if you want to keep people on the on, on watching the video. Can you so can you walk us through that? What are, what they need to you know put together as a little package for themselves to do video the right way. Well, I think that there's a lot of opinions to that, uh, and my first suggestion would be the mantra that I live by, which is implement now, perfect later. That's exactly what I did when I started using video, and some of my early videos are quite hilarious. Um, <laughs> but as we go forward, practice makes perfect. Just like when you were learning to ride a bike or drive a car, you get better and better and better. Mm -hmm. And so you know, just practicing is huge and you're not going to be awesome the first time you go out. Uh, I would tell you that um, if you're gonna take video on your phone, make sure you turn it sideways. That's a format that's better accepted by YouTube and you know Facebook and all of that, turn it sideways. Um, another thing I would say is keep your, I like to make notes. Um, just like three points, just so that I remember what I want to talk about and make it concise. I know that on Facebook Live, you have to do a minimum of two minutes in order to get engagement. Mm -hmm. However, if you're going to do, you know, a video to somebody uh, about, hey, I'm Amy and I'm introducing myself to you and you might sell your house with me, that should not be more than two minutes because right. you want to keep it, you know, to the point. Um, I would highly recommend that no one use a teleprompter, no one read a script. It's obvious, it's so obvious. It's, it makes it worse on you. It makes you look weird and talk weird <laughs> entirely. So uh, I, I laugh because I tried that one time and I looked like a retard. I'm just like, hello, this is Greg McDaniel. Today we're going, Today, today yeah. we're going to be talking about, and then being dyslexic on top of it. Ooh, that was an ugly, ugly, ugly video. But I agree that you got to be genuine and authentic when you do video. And there's, uh, you, you mentioned something I'm not, that I want to go back and talk about really quickly. Yeah. Let's talk about the difference between live video and produced video. Why is it that on um, produced video, like not when you're not live, why is it important? And I want to banter with you on this. Why is it important to be less than two minutes? That's just a statistic that I learned. Um, there are several videos in my drip campaigns that exceed two minutes just because I'm trying to explain something mm -hmm. that's quite quite a bit more lengthy. But I think when you're given a sales pitch or when they also say that the less you know someone, the shorter your video should be. Mm -hmm. And you can make a longer video when you're in relationship with someone more. Mm -hmm. So that's just another you know, framework, if you will. But if it's the first time you're ever getting a video from me, I'm not going to ramble on for five minutes. <laughs> why not? I mean, I, I so just want to hit stop. No, I mean, yeah, it, the reason why I ask is that I, I've, when I first started doing video, the same, you know, stat, uh, stat you said is what I heard. And I heard a great phrase, be as long as you have to be, but as short as you can. And, yep. you know, because I, when I, I would watch videos and ads, and I don't want you guys to go watch videos and uh, out on, on, on YouTube or anywhere else. When you get annoyed and you're about ready to click off, figure out where that time is. I found that I'm about 46 seconds deep and I'm like, you're irritating me. J ah, damn, it's only 46 seconds. Goldfish have got longer attention spans than I do right now. Um, and let's talk about why it's important to be long on live video. I think that's something that people are, have a hard time, you know, kind of understanding because they've always been told what we're talking about right now to the fact that, you know, you're supposed to have short videos, they, you know, short and concise, but why, why longer on live videos? You know, you might have a better answer for that than I do because I think you do a lot more live video. <laughs> what I know is that you have to get engagement. So you have to be on long enough to get engagement. Now, not everybody cares about engagement. I, I don't really care about engagement on most of the live video I do because I'm just doing it to get it out there and to get up in the feed quicker or at the top of people's feed. Mm -hmm. That's gonna live there forever. And most people, when they go back and watch your live video, they think it's live and it's <laughs> actually not. So, I don't know. What is your thought process on how long you should be on Facebook Live? 
my my the way I operate and why I do a lot of long form uh, content is this: is that the, from even from Facebook, what they say the you know, best uses for live video is to be about a, about you know five to fifteen minutes. You get a, you see a big uptick in, in in engagement at about the twelve to fifteen minutes because people are doing stuff. They're busy. They're not checking their phone. Then they look down. They're like, oh, bloop. Greg's live, and then you get the, you know, get the, the, get that engagement. See, I want the engagement. I encourage people. Like all of you guys have seen me do my prospecting calls. I'm sitting there, I'm like, you guys got to go, you know, talk with me with your evil little nuggets. You know, ask me questions. You know, hang out with me. Don't be, don't be weird and sit back there and lurk in the, in, in the shadows. I want that because the more engagement that you get on Facebook Live, the more the algorithm will know that this is valuable, good content, the more they will promote it and push it to the top. So if you're educational and entertaining and you have good engagement, Facebook's like boop, 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 pushes you up to the top. Um, and that's where, you know, to be, that's, this is the only tool ever that Facebook will give you top of the news feed at zero cost to you because they're trying to encourage the usage of Facebook Live. Now, like Amy, like you said, dude, you are going to epically suck the first couple of times you do it. It's okay. We all do. And you know what? You're going to think two other things. You're going to think, oh, my God, that's what I look like on camera. And, oh, my God, I can't believe I sound that bad. Well, spoiler alert. You have friends and family. They still love you. And as long as you bring value, value nobody gives a shit. And I think that goes back to what you're talking about is you're always trying to bring value, right, Amy? You're always yep. trying to bring good content to them so that they can uh, consistently uh, engage with you knowing that you're going to be um, something of an asset. Oh, and if you're going to do live video, guys, always ask people to subscribe. There's a little, like, big notification button that they can click on and get notified when you go live so your, so your subscriber base will go up. Again, that will tell the algorithm, hey, this person's worth it, and they'll push you up to the top of the, uh, top of the feed. Um, so we talked about videos. What about lighting? What about what? Lighting. Lighting. I assembled three massive lights today in my video <laughs> studio. It was so fun. Uh, and I thought I was going to get blinded in there. Lighting is so important. Um, if you can't see, I mean, part of video is to see the face, right? And if you can't see the gestures and you can't see the facial expressions, it's it's really important to have quality video because nobody's going to watch it if it looks all dark and grainy and all of that. Uh, so important just as a great microphone um, and hearing it clearly. I think a lot of video gurus will say it's a toss up between good lighting and Good sound. Um, so it, both are very, very important with video. I agree with you. I uh, so I went out. I have a I have a studio set up in my house, in my office. You weirdos, never not nowhere else. Um, <laughs> we're, do <laughs> we're doing we're shooting at my house consistently, and I just put in the link for you guys from Amazon, from a, a group called um, Limo Studios, and it's fifty fifty not fifty uh, fifty five. 56 bucks, you get three lights, you get the bulbs, you get the stands, you get the carrying case, you get everything else for 55, 50, 60 bucks. Um, and it will give you nice, good, solid light that you guys can use. They're easy to travel with. So that's something that I think would be a really good starter kit. You don't really need too much more unless you're going to go professional grade. I mean, Amy's got nicer stuff than that because she does a ton of video. But for starting, this is a great place to start with. Um, so you know what, what I use? Huh. A desk lamp from Ikea, and I aimed it at my face in the beginning. You want to see what I use? <laughs> I use that thing. It's just a desk that's lamp. That's <laughs> exactly what I have in my other off in the office that I'm in now. That's what I have there. So yeah. it, it, it does, again, you can get all caught up in having the right tools and spending all this money, but it doesn't need it, the webcam is the best thing you can buy and everything else you can work around. And again, it's a work in progress. And I think even um, there was a study that was done not too long ago and they determined that video that's imperfect or not professionally produced actually gets more engagement from a person and it causes them to trust you more because there's imperfections in it and it's not perfect. Really? So it, it, yes, um, people feel like it's more authentic um, and and that you're just like them. Uh, so 
if it looks like the news, it's probably, they're probably thinking she's out of my league or he's out of my league, you know, but if you're like them and you show them that you're relatable by just doing basic video, you're going to yeah. get more engagement from that. I would totally understand that. I mean, I, I, I when I watch raw video of people walking around somewhere, you know, it's bouncing around like this and everything. I'm like, I'm tracking it. I'm like, okay, where are we going? This is something real time. I'm interested. Anything that happened, this is great. Ooh, nothing happened. Okay. They turn out their video, but in, you know, disappointed right off the bat. But let me, when you guys are, when, I, I, Amy, would you encourage them to just get over their fears and jump into this? And you know what? Cause you can, you can broadcast to yourself, to your yeah. friends, specific friends or to the public. Yep. Um, so go Amy, what are you gonna say? Um, I would highly recommend just uh, doing Facebook live to yourself. I did that today just to test some things out. I have a small group that I'm a part of. It's like a mastermind group. It's a great place to practice your video where you're with friends that aren't going to, you know, stress you out or whatever. It's a great way to do it. Um, in my course, I make everybody go on Facebook Live and our private group page and introduce themselves just to get used to it. Um, there's another study that was done, Greg, and it took a studio quality camera. It took like a a fancy camcorder, it took a phone, and it took one of these webcams, and it recorded the same video on all three. And then they did a blind test of video experts to go in and say which one of these was taken on the expensive camera and the cheap camera. And believe it or not, the phone was the best quality video out there, and nobody guessed that it was taken on a phone. No way. So we all have these. We all have them. There's no excuse for you to not start with video. None. I, I always I tell people all the time, I'm like, see this thing? It's your full production studio. Stop giving me yep. bullshit reasons why you're not going to do it. Literally, you just go, bloop, three, two, one, boom, you're live. You do your video. You screw up the first couple of times, but you, but you keep on rolling. But you'll get better, like you yep. said, you know, and you'll keep making it happen. You, we were doing prep for the show, and you, you yep. told me a really unique way that you're doing listing presentations on video yep tell me tell so, me about that yeah you know i have a, quite a process that i go through with my clients in terms of how we get them to what i call the pricing and strategy meeting which is where we sit down and we talk about the comps and we talk about moving forward prior to that pricing and strategy meeting where we sit down face to face you know they're getting these videos for me in a strip campaign that's getting that whole dog and pony stuff out of the way so that i'm not having to sit there and tell them the same thing over and over and over again and wasting hours of my life nobody wants to be talking to you as a realtor at their dining room table for more than 45 minutes okay nobody wants to talk to you for more than that so get that stuff out of the way sit down with them and get real information about their house, about their needs, about their subdivision. And so Greg, I think what you were asking me is, I was sharing with you that a lot of times we have scheduling conflicts um, and I will not do a pricing and strategy meeting without all decision makers present, the wife, the husband, wherever they are in the world, I don't care. We'll wait until we can get everybody in the same room together because I'm not repeating myself again. So. If they can't, and if we can't find a time to make it all work, I'll do, um, I'm using Zoom. I know you've used Zoom before. Zoom.us is $14.99 a month. And you can do a video, um, basically like a video meeting, it's called a video room. And you can share your screen, so you can show your reports, you can show them you know, the reports and they can see them, they can get on video, they can either use their phone or their computer. And when you do a Zoom pricing and strategy meeting, most of the time it's 30 minutes. So you're shaving time off. You're not driving to and from. Everybody's in the comfort of wherever they want to be. And um, one day, one Friday morning, I got three listing appointments done in the morning and I was done for the rest of the day. If I would have had to do that in person, I would have been driving between each meeting and, you know, all of that. So I'm just about efficiency and video is so efficient. I can't hear you, Greg.
Yeah, that's because I'm the world's dumbest person. I had you on mute because my team's talking behind me and I didn't want to distract from you. But oh, I'm that's just okay. I'm way by myself. Good job, Grant McDaniel. Operating your, your podcast for the first time or third time by yourself and you already screwed up. Gosh, Matt's going to laugh at me forever. Anyways, um, what I was saying is that uh, I think video with uh, with what you're just saying, I think that uh, a lot of people might ask the question of, is it taking away the personal connection by doing it over video? Or do you still, obviously you still maintain the, the personal relationship and you're not losing that because you are eye to eye, belly to belly, virtually, right? Uh, you know, I think it does make a connection. Um, a lot of my business is repeat and referral, so I already have a connection with most of mm -hmm. them. I've done it where I've never met them before. I mean, I've done a million listings where I've never even met my seller, even on video face-to-face. -face. So I don't feel like that connection is lost. Maybe some people do, but I've never not gotten a listing by doing it on video. Hey, I, I, and I'm you want to get to them right away, right? Because yeah. if you leave too much time and your schedules don't match, then somebody else might swipe in and take the listing. So you got to get in front of them right away and, and start to build that rapport. I couldn't agree with you more. And another way that you can use these videos, guys, I mean, building rapport is them hearing your voice, seeing your face, you know, and listening to the knowledge that you're going to, you know, give to them about either your team, you, your area, the homes, whatever it is. Amy, what do you think virtual reality is going to do as this thing becomes more and more 360 video, all of that stuff? I mean, it's it's going that direction. I mean, what do you think VR virtual reality is actually going to actually going to kick in and you guys can be literally sitting there with the goggles on look, looking at each other. That's really crazy. I've never put those goggles on. Um, <laughs> I've, I've seen people, I've seen videos of people wearing them and falling <laughs> and all of that. Um, I think the Matterport is crazy, you know, to see a Matterport uh, mm -hmm. virtual tour. I mean, you know, just like with drones and other things there, you know, there's certain properties that that's going to woo someone or whatever. I still think that if you price it right, you're going to sell it. It doesn't matter if there's a virtual reality tour or not, mm -hmm. um, you know, but I, I clearly haven't embraced that yet. So, well, yeah, that's right. It's something that I, I went out and I bought a 360. It's called Insta360, um, and it attaches to the Fireport right here in the bottom of your of your phone, guys. And oh wow, it is the, it is the coolest thing for 200 bucks. I'll put I'll put the link in for Amazon. But I mean, wow. this thing, it, uh, it, it, it you can walk into a room and you don't have to swing it around and show every angle and everything else. No matter what, you can go into a room and you can just stand in the middle, talk about the property, and then uh, there's a paste to drop. Just dropped it in for you guys to take a look at, and uh, people can just kind of flip it around or move their camera around so they can see the whole house. They can pause your video uh, and they can still uh, see the entire property. You can take pictures with this thing and post it. But um, filming a home in 360, let's say, Amy, you and your husband couldn't see, couldn't come and see the house, right? Well, what I would do is I'd go to the house, film it 360, download it, upload it to my to my Facebook or whatever, up, upload it to my YouTube channel. Then you guys could access it, and you could you really look through the whole house without ever having to step into it. And Absolutely. It gets, by the way, guys, it gets a shit ton of attention on Facebook. <laughs> People love this stuff because it's so new, right? It's 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 kind of on the edge of everything, but it doesn't cost an arm and a leg to do. When people first saw my first video, uh, I had people literally all over the world hit me up and be like, how do I get one of those things? And I said, well, here's the link, go buy it. So I had a dude in Israel, he uh, he tagged me in his first video. He went out and, uh, and shot a video in it. Um, but awesome. you, you, have a, you have a bunch of different courses um, and something that you're kind of bringing to bringing to the market and you're teaching people how to use video. Where do they fall on their face most of the time um, when they start using this whole camera thing that we're talking about? They just never get started. How can you help um, people get over that? Make it as easy as possible. Have the tools ready. Um, if you want to try BombBomb Bomb for 14 days, you can go to bombbomb.com forward slash Amy B. You get a 14 day trial. It's plug and play, so intuitive, easy. 
where you record it right there in the thing and then you just put in the email and you send. Um, the easier you can make it, the better. The more simple you can make it, the better. Um, just, you, you can't motivate people. Uh, you have to um, realize that time is money and that you can't do as much with the same amount of time. And so how do you make yourself more efficient? I think video is the way to do it. And um, just have the tools ready, you know, just jump in, jump in. That's the best way to do it. Just like a diving board. Just rip the bandaid off and just get it over with, right? Just hop on get out on there. Get on Facebook and Live. Fun. I mean, that's a super easy way to do it. I couldn't agree with you more. Amy, so we're about halfway through the show. You know, tell everyone where they can reach you. I want to make sure that all the viewers that are live right now, if they have to jump off, they know where to kind of what where to reach you in case they want to, you know, talk more, you know, buy this product, yep. buy your additional product, uh, everything else. Well, what I would suggest is going to amyb.com forward slash REU, Real Estate Uncensored, and yeah. you can put in your email and you will get 75 ways to use video in business. And there's a whole section on real estate specific ways to use video. Awesome. So What's that's a, a great piece. Mm-hmm. What, 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 what are a couple of those ways? Give me one tidbit on how to use video for, for real estate. Just one little thing. One little thing? Um, I love getting price reductions with video. Okay. You are going to have to dive deep into that after you tell them where else to get a hold of you. But that got me excited. You should stay tuned. Every Wednesday I go live on lead gen scripts and objections. And that was what my story tip was this week. Uh, how to use video to get price reductions. Um, last week it was how to make a virtual introduction. Just basic stuff that you would normally type up. Um, other things you can do uh, to reach me, amyb.com is where I sell my course, which is sell 100% of your listings. And we implement video in that course. We show you my drip campaign and then my contract to list campaign. And I've got some templates on there of how to structure your, your emails and videos and just helpful ways to do that. Um, and then I am launching a new product this summer, so you'll mm -hmm. see more from me on that. So just be sure to follow uh, my YouTube page and, you know, watch me on lead gen scripts and objections, and I'll be sure to give you guys all tips and updates and let you know what's going on throughout the year. That is awesome. Awesome. Well, you guys got a lot of places to reach out to Amy and uh, pick her brain of all kinds of these wonderful, wonderful chunks of knowledge. Um, you guys, you guys can follow me on Facebook. I have to, already have 5,000 friends. Facebook are dicks. They won't give me any more friends. Now, I've even asked them really nicely and gave them cookies, and they still won't do it. So, you guys, please go follow me on Facebook. You'll be able to see these different podcasts if you're the first time you're seeing this ugly mug. Uh, also, you could be able to watch the uh, the live lead gen that I'm doing. So, just find Greg McDaniel on Facebook and follow me there. So Amy, let's get back to you. Let's go finish, let's, let's dive deep about what we were talking about before we did our little, our little where they can get a hold of us. Sure. What were we talking about? <laughs> you, had, you had a nugget <laughs> off, of, off, off, of the, off of the sheet that we were gonna dive, dive deep Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, sure, what were we How to get a about. price reduction? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna do, how to get a price reduction on video. Yes. Um, so to be fair, I do a lot of future pacing with my clients when we set the price, when we do the listing. So I tell them, you know, there's a chance that we might need to adjust the price going forward. So it's not a big surprise when they get the video from me. But the reason why I love to get or to ask for price reductions with video is because it allows me to send it to both people at the same time. You know, how many times are you trying to call Mr. or Mrs. and then you have a conversation with one and then they want to talk to the other. Oh, let me talk to my wife and blah, blah, blah. And then three days later, you're still answering questions and you still don't have your price reduction mm -hmm. because they like to drag their feet. So I love the video because you're able to tell them what you would normally tell them on the phone. So I think of video as leaving a voicemail. I just look at the camera and I leave a voicemail. You can just pretend to have the phone on your ear if you want, if that helps you feel better about doing video. 
but I just leave a voicemail and basically I tell them with all the passion and urgency that they can see and hear and feel in my voice, both of them get the same exact message and they can watch it whenever they're ready to receive it. Mm. Right. And then they mm -hmm. can rewatch it again if they choose to. <laughs> um, and it's just a great way to get them both the same message to get them understanding the urgency, understanding the passion, you know, and call to action at the end. And I, and I just kind of assume the sale. And I say, what I want you to do is respond to this video by saying, yes, I am willing to drop my, or adjust my price to 169 today. Hmm. And it happens every time they say yes, every time. Really? Um, That's awesome. Well, and it's not just that, but I'm also showing data or information. They knew it was probably coming because mm -hmm. I prepared them for that. So it's it's a combination of future pacing, using the right script on the on the video, giving them evidence, and then giving them a clear call to action. I think. That's awesome. Well, I know we kind of went ten thousand foot on that because I know there's a, it's a lot more, and it's a part of what you what you're what you're doing on the back end on the other end. You can go deeper and teach people how to do this stuff. I want to let's switch gears here really quickly. I want to jump yeah. into. We got about twenty minutes left. I want to talk about social media, all the different channels, and you know Facebook, you know Facebook Messenger, Insta Live, YouTube Live, uh, Periscope, you know all these different areas and, and channels you can speak on um let's start with facebook and let's talk about uh messenger for the for you know hot second here how how have you been using the facebook messenger video and what have you been doing with it you know i was using facebook messenger video quite a bit and i'm not quite sure what happens in my facebook uh, messenger video but i no longer have a video option on my messenger screen what? I just have a camera and I use the microphone a lot to leave voice voice messages on it yeah. um, but I I think they had a limit when I was using it there was a limit of like a one minute video you could send mm -hmm. um, it's great I loved it when it was on my phone I'm looking at my phone right now I'm like they better not take my damn video away. okay they didn't take my video away Whew. That scared I'm me. I'm not death. sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, but r record voice. I just don't have video on there anymore. And I mean, full disclosure, I'm not the best early adopter. I have the Google Pixel, and it's had a lot of issues integrating with Facebook uh, on the first generation. So um, hmm. I couldn't even do Facebook Live for over a month with my new phone. So the, that now that's just wrong. I mean, that is a tragedy right there. Everybody um, had a month off of Amy, so I'm <laughs> sure they enjoyed it. I'm sure they did not. Um, so I'll share with you really quickly what I used Facebook Messenger for um, a video. It's about yeah. 15 seconds of video that I that you can put out there. You can blur, you know, put a lot out. It's a great way to stay in contact with past clients, stay in contact with friends, you know, be able to, you know, contact, go friend or follow uh, a potential client. Uh, or a lead or someone and say, hey, this is Greg McDaniel. And this is obviously if you don't have, don't use Bomb Bomb and everything else, this is just another opportunity for you guys. And just yeah. do that 15 second little thing. And they have, it has a huge engagement rate. There's over a billion people using Facebook Messenger and it's growing consistently. Yeah. Not to mention Facebook today, you know, that new little, you know, thing that they're putting in there for, um, uh, yeah. for, for kind of like the, like the Instagram stories. It's another video product there, but yeah. so you're using it. You're using we, it. Hmm? You know, Anytime you get a uh, call and a sign or um, a, f a message about a lead, somebody wants to buy a house, somebody wants to sell a house, all you have to do is make a quick video on your phone. Just make it quick and short, and then you can text a video to somebody. And it again, it shocks them. It completely sets you apart because everybody else is texting and you're sending a video. And again, they're building rapport, creating a relationship like immediately immediately yeah. yeah it is a really really powerful guys people will get back to you on this thing and like the like Amy and I are talking about longer form stuff this is gonna be super short super sweet there's a gal uh, she's in my office she's now 
three or four years deep into the business before the Facebook video, uh, you know, messengers took place and she was doing messages out to all of her friends and family who a lot of them lived in San Diego. Did she did 16 deals her first year just by starting off with Facebook messenger by typing. Imagine if you could put the personal touch to it with the video in the messenger. So that's that. Let's talk about, we talked about Facebook Lives. What kind of content and where would you go? Do you have a, a favored place that people that you recommend people to go to get content that they can do a video on? Okay, so I just watched a really great video by Gary Vee this weekend and it mm -hmm. really kind of resonated with me and hit home. And um, some people like Gary Vee and some people don't like Gary Vee, I'm a huge fan. And he said, you know, he just said that um, so many people are out there trying to create content and, and trying to get content on social media. And what they really need to be doing is just documenting, just document. Hmm. And that helped me change my reference and my mindset of what people want. So just saying like today, it's crazy. Last Friday, I was trying to get out of the office to get to happy hour. And I had to make virtual introductions to three people and they were all realtors and I was connecting them with this lender that I know. Mm -hmm. And I made this virtual introduction to this top agent in, in uh, Chicago. Really? And he called me after he got the video and he was like, oh my God, I just fell out of my chair. This <laughs> is the best idea I've ever heard. I will save so much time and this will make my referrals so much more personable. And I'm thinking, dude, you sell a lot of real estate. You're like one of the top guys in Chicago. And I taught you something new. How is that even possible? But all I did was document what I was doing mm -hmm. and show somebody else, Hey, today I use video for this. Maybe that's helpful to you. Maybe it's not, I don't know, but you know, if you're authentic about it and you're coming from contribution and you're trying to add value, just share with people what you're doing. So if you're a realtor, you know, I just went to this new place today. I discovered this city. I saw this furnace in this house that I've never seen before. I mean, just document it. Show people that you're out and about and that you're engaged in the business every day and don't be a secret agent. Yeah. Do not be a secret agent. I'm, I have a good friend of mine. Her name is uh, Sarah Johnson. She's out of uh, Calgary, Canada. She does Instagram. She's really, 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 really big on Instagram. And that's, I mean, she, that's exactly what she does. All she does is document her quirky ass, you know, bounce around the city, you know, the good, the bad, the ins, the outs, all the things about real estate. She's freaking hilarious. Go check her out on Instagram. You will guarantee you, you will laugh your ass off. But I mean, the reason why she's so successful is because she documents. And I think that's not something yeah. that a lot of people just don't do. They, they try to bring, they, they try to post links about videos, about articles, about, you know, different things about real estate. What that shit is fucking boring. I mean, I don't even want to read those and you're trying to make clients or someone else read them. No, why don't you go read it, regurgitate it back out, give your opinion on it. Now, now it's personalized and you, and you got smarter. I mean, yep. I, there's a place I go a lot. It's called realtytimes.com. Um, information aggregator, it's good for both you. It's also good for your consumers. If you're trying to put this out for consumers, which I'm assuming you are, they have different um, areas in there that uh, you can go in and read a short little article on, and then you can post the link to the article in the video uh, that you did. And it's Perfect. a great way that because the people that want to read will read, the people who want to watch will watch, and uh, you're now the smartest kid in class which is, that never hurts, right? I mean, come on. And you're adding value. If you just focus on adding value in every communication you do, that will just pay multiple times, every single time. Absolutely. Um, what is your opinion on Instagram Live? Have you used that very much on, for video? No, I haven't. No. I didn't know they had a live. They have a live, um, and I gotta tell you, I'm not, I'm not so sure about it, and this is my reason why. If we're gonna take time, like you and I are build libraries of information, right? Both live video that's get gets recorded, or recorded video that we use for, you know, multiple emails out. Insta Live, unless you got a massive audience that it's just you're super tuned into. When you're live, you're live. You're you're cruising, you're talking, you're hanging. But once you go, you know, you know, shuts down, it's gone. It's not for saved. It's just gone. So kind of like you, Snapchat. Exactly. Exactly. And my question to you is, so what's what the you, point you're creating content and people aren't seeing it? 
<laughs> yes, it's not saved anywhere. So what's the point? I, I still have not yeah. thought about that. But I mean, Brian Costello is a buddy of mine. He, he's out of Southern Cal. He does it. He has like 30 or 40 people on last time I saw him doing it. So take a look at it, guys. I want to make you aware of it. But keep in mind, all that work you're putting in is not going to be saved. You can't send it to anybody. It's just no. But Greg, you still can record a video under 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. And post it to Instagram and people can watch it later. It's just the live yes. stuff that they can't watch later. So yes. up to 60 seconds, you can put a video. Exactly. Yes. There is a distinguishing difference. Amy, walk us through the, the difference there. And, and uh, are you guys getting some good value out of the uh, out of Instagram live, Instagram recorded videos? Um, it's just a different audience. It's a different engagement. I, I probably use Facebook Live more. Mm -hmm. Um just because I feel like I can pinpoint the audience a little bit more that way and make right. sure that I'm giving the appropriate audience the information. Uh, yeah, but okay. it's nice to be able to put a minute clip in there about whatever it is and it teaches you to be brief. Yeah, don't be long-winded. Nobody likes you when you talk all the time. Someone should have told me that a long time ago because, shit, I, we do hour-long podcasts three days a week. So Yeah, uh, I know. I know. I, <laughs> um, I don't know so how you do that. That's a lot of a lot of time. Yeah, it's only three hours. And, you know, Matt and I, we have an absolute obsession with this. You know, we love to do our podcast because we love interacting with our folks. Um, you know, and that brings it up, guys. If you guys like this, if you guys like this, you know, podcast right now, go share it out to your networks, share it onto your feed, share it out everywhere so that more people will be able to see what's going on um, in, in behind the scenes with what we're doing. Um, uh, we've got a good question here. Lena Jacobson says, uh, is there any way that you can safely... You know, can, can uh, safely the life what, literally? No, you can't. You know, Lena, you cannot put it on to YouTube at all. That brings another question. Do you use YouTube Live at all uh, instead of just uploading videos? I haven't used YouTube Live yet. I will definitely be doing that just to experiment. Um, and a lot of the live videos I've been able to upload to YouTube just as a reference or you know, whatever. So it's really nice to be able to have that option since yeah. traditionally Facebook and YouTube don't play together. So they do not like each other. So oil, oil and water. And um, yeah. so you, you can go one way, like you record it live on, on Facebook, then you can download it onto your computer, then upload it to YouTube and it'll still, Facebook will still give a preferential treatment. And then you can share it up into your YouTube, take the link and then bring it out to your website and everything else. There's a whole campaign there, what you can do. Um, but yeah. we're not going to get into that super quick. Anyways, uh, Periscope, to wrap this thing up here, Periscope, what's your opinion of Periscope? I haven't used Periscope, so you're going to have to give us your opinion of Periscope. <laughs> um, Periscope is Twitter's version of live video. Uh, so if you have a big Twitter following, it's a great opportunity to go international right off the bat and be able to go uh, watch what other people are doing around the world, maybe showcase a property to the to the world with a good headline. And if you can get good engagement and get a good followership on Periscope, guys, it is a really good tool to use. Um, I, I'm like Amy, I use Facebook almost predominantly. And so I really don't venture off. I mean, I've, every once in a while I'll have a brain fart and I'll remember to go do something on Instagram and then share it over to Facebook. But I use Snapchat for a little bit. Ugh, that shit is laborious. I, mean, I, I can't get that. That's not working for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't save it again, Amy. That's not the deal. They don't save yeah, it. Yeah, I anymore. know. Unless you screenshot it. My kids love it. But other than that, it's crazy. And, you know, I just have to make a comment here because you're definitely somebody that tries everything the minute it comes out and <laughs> does everything and just adopts it and blah, blah, blah. And that's great. And I love it. I think there's the majority of people get overwhelmed by all the options and all the things. And so what I would say to you is pick one thing, mm -hmm. do it. That's it. Get good at that, get comfortable at that, and then move on to something else. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to try Facebook Live and you want to get started there, get comfortable with that and then maybe go to YouTube or check out some of these other services. Um, but just don't think that you have to go out there and, and try all these things the first day because there's definitely a learning curve to all of it. Yeah, there really, there really, really, really is. Well, we got a few minutes left before we, we we shut this thing down and put a little bow on it. So, Amy, one more time, 
help everybody understand what your what your free giveaways are, where to get them, and how to get in contact with you. Absolutely. Well, of course, if you have anyone that wants to buy or sell in Cincinnati, Ohio, or Northern Kentucky, you can contact me on my website at amybsells.com. Um, if you'd like to get a copy of 75 ways to use video in your business, you can go to amyb.com forward slash reu and you'll get a copy of this. And you'll also be entered to win one of two Logitech HD 1080 webcams. So you can start doing video right away. And if you decide that you wanna do a BombBomb trial for 14 days, you can get that free too. If you go to bombbomb.com forward slash Amy B, they'll give you a 14 day trial and you'll get to see how easy it is to use. And, um, I will be on lead gen scripts and ejections every Wednesday, giving you what we're hashtagging as story tips. So be sure to check those out. Each week I'll show you another way to use video in your business. I'll show you an actual example of the video. So I'll play the video for you from my email and um, you'll see what you like and what you don't like and what you wanna implement in your business. And it's it'll be as easy as that if you like to learn by example you can you can see that there and i think that just about covers it greg okay great guys amy is an absolute wealth of knowledge you guys really do go and watch her i watch her uh on wednesdays wednesdays picking up different tips and tricks i encourage you guys to go, go, go do the same um i want to thank everyone for being here we've had a tremendous audience you guys you guys are amazing thank you for taking the time out of the day to come hang out with us and learn about video um, I put the link in the news feed for amyb.com forward slash reu so you can sign up. I personally just signed up uh, to, to get the 75 ways to use real estate, uh, to use real estate, <laughs> to, use live, to use video in real estate. So use that as a resource, guys. Stay up with her. She has got great stuff coming down the pipe. Matt is probably, you know, on the road somewhere. Uh, so he was not able to make it, guys. But we got a great show coming up this Friday. If I can get to my calendar, I'll tell you what it's going to be all about. But and I can't because I can't get there in time. But anyways, we're going to move forward. But show up, guys. We're going to be here live Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you like what we're doing, please follow me on Facebook. Follow Matt on Facebook. Follow Amy. Amy, do you want people following you on Facebook? Yeah, I have more room. Sweet. Oh, AmyB.com or Amy Broke Hammer. Yeah, follow Amy on on Facebook, guys, and then share this video out to anybody that might, you know, anyone that might need to watch this. But again, Matt and I do this because we absolutely love you guys. We want to bring the best and the brightest to you, so that you guys can then take the little nuggets of goodness that they have stored up in their noodles and put it into your business and make lots and lots of money. So I love you. I can't wait to help you guys and talk with you. And I, we will see you guys on the next one. So, Amy, you want to say goodbye to everybody? Thanks so much for joining us. Stay tuned for more video tips. You got it. All right, guys. Peace out, ninjas. We're gone.